presented to me today is in particular for the, for the team at, at Mott's Chocolate Factory. It's from Chantal and James Cody, who have a farm with Mott in, around Hermitage. And they use your chocolate for their chocolate shop in London. We are so very sad that Mott is not with you in person tonight. As a devout atheist, he would deny that he is with you in spirit. And maybe he did not understand what a lasting impression he has left behind him. His sudden departure from this world has left us all stunned. He lived up to his nickname of a moth. Such was the speed he flickered in and out of bright lights and our lives. He touched us all, being able to make each one of us feel so special and appreciated. His great gift for sharing not only his zest for life and his chocolate, or a glass of wine, or a delicious meal that he conjured so effortly on the balcony of the chocolate factory. We all shared so many wonderful times together in Grenada and London and France. Mott had a huge respect for Grenada, as you saw so clearly in the film tonight. He was always telling us about the great education, the lovely temperament, and the brilliant minds of the Grenadians. And it is one of the many reasons that he chose your beautiful island as his home, and a place to start his legendary chocolate business. He revolutionized the world of chocolate by turning to traditional terms of trade on its head starting from the ground up. His vision was to add all the value to the chain right here in Grenada. To do this, he needed help and support in creating the company, setting up the organic cocoa cooperative, working with Chevelle Nyack Compton on the Belmont Estate, with Edmund Brown and Doug Brown, the farmers and the crew at the chocolate factory. You all helped to make his dream come true. There is enormous will to continue his legacy, to keep the chocolate company going and building on the successes over the years that have made this one of the great, greatest success stories of Grenada. To provide an income for so many people in Hermitage and of course the best chocolate in the world for all of us lovers of the Grenada, Grenada Chocolate Company across the oceans. We need to give each other the strength to continue Mott's legacy and keep building the chocolate business for generations to come. We know you will keep making chocolate. That is the difficult bit. There are so many people in the big wide chocolate world who will help and support you in marketing and selling this fabulous chocolate. That will be the easier bit. We are certain that this would be his wish, that you will be guided by his spirit we send our love and prayers from London and will be coming to Grenada very soon. Shonda, Chantal Cody and James Booth. <laughs>